Hello and welcome to All In Sports. I'm Jared Veluzzi, and it is the month of April, which means college lacrosse, of course, is in full swing and towards the end of the regular season. On Easter Sunday, we have a terrific matchup between the number one ranked Penn State Nittany Lions and the Johns Hopkins Blue Jays. Hopkins comes into the game at 6-5, and five, needing a signature win. And I'll tell you what we're going to do right now. We are going to preview this game and make a prediction. Let's dive right into it. Johns Hopkins, like I said before, 6-5 and five on the season. They have a very good attack unit. Cole Williams, Kyle Moore, and of course, the freshman phenom, Joey Epstein. These guys need to come to play because the Penn State offense, you know they're going to score. So Hopkins, they need to get into the teams. Part of this is figuring out Penn State goalie Kobe Kanise, because when Kanise is on, Penn State wins. So Johns Hopkins are going to need to figure him out, find a way to put the ball in the net. But it's not just the attack unit, it's also the midfield production. They need some of it. They haven't gotten a ton of it all season. That's part of the reason why they lost some games. But Alex Kincan and Connor DeSimone and Jack Heal, all Long Island guys, they really need to step up in this game and help Hopkins out. You go to the Penn State side of things, like I said before, their offense, what they do is score, score, and score. They average 17 goals per game. Mac O'Keefe, Grant Ament, goes on and on the list of names. For them, like I said, it's Ament and O'Keefe mainly, but Nick Spillane, he's had a great season. If he steps up, Penn State wins games, and that's what's been going on all season long. If they play their offense and they score, they shouldn't have a problem. But for Hopkins, their goaltender, Ryan Darby, he has to make saves he's not supposed to if Hopkins wants a chance in this game. Also, the other big factor in this game is the face-off X. The only game Penn State has lost this season was to Yale, and T.D. Erlin dominated the X. For Hopkins, they don't quite have a guy like T.D. Erlin, but if you keep it at 50-50, they will have a much better chance because if Penn State gets more possessions, it will just wrap up. The game will be over because the Nittany Lions will find ways to score. The Johns Hopkins defense, you can't quite shut down this Penn State offense completely, but if you contain it and your offense has a good day, anything can happen. So let's get into the pick. I do believe Hopkins will have a good game. They are an underdog by five goals. I think it will be within that, but the Penn State Nittany Lions will remain on the top of the ranks and get another win. And I'll explain why Penn State, like I said before, their offense is unbelievable, but Kobe Kanese has come on the last couple games. I think he has another good game, and Hopkins will not be able to compete with the speed and the high intensity of the Penn State offense. Everybody, I'm Jared Veluzzi. Thanks for watching.